Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading. And I'm going to do it Libra from February to March 2021 for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Libra. I hope you're well and pull your first oracle card. So what do we have for Libra please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Librans. Thank you in money and career only. Thank you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I love this one. We have the black cat. Your look will soon change. You know, sometimes when I see this card, Libra, there might be a sign of you actually seeing a black cat. I'm not joking. You know, you might actually see some kind of a black cat crossing your path, um, just standing out to you. And it's probably a sign from the universe to just say, your luck is soon going to change, but it's a nice message regardless. Okay, so what do we have for Libra, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Libra. Okay, so I have declutter. Now, it's interesting because with this message, it's all about simplifying your life, not overcomplicating your life where it's not needed as well, you know? Um, detoxing, you know? Yeah, so you might get that kind of energy this in the next couple of months. We have you'll feel better and more focused if you'll take time to clear away any clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items. Be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. But again, I sometimes get the energies of what I said before with that card too. Okay, so I'm going to pull an overarching energy in money and career. February to March 2021, please, Angel Spirits Guides for Libra. This is the Tarot of Dreams, one of my favourite decks. Okay, what do we have for Libra, please? Angels, Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Librans, thank you. Okay, so Libra, we have the five of coins, but it's right next to the card of your luck will soon change. So that's an interesting omen there. Okay, so Libra, I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull five cards. The first card is the current challenge or issue in money and career. Second card is what's going for you. Third card is essentially what's going against you or any issues or obstacles to overcome. Advice from Spirit is the fourth card, and then we have the outcome, future outcome. We'll clarify if we need to. Okay, so what do we have for Libra, please? Angel Spirit's Guides, message for all of the Librans. Okay, so the challenge is the sun. What's going for you? We have the Ace of Coins. <laughs> Very nice energy. Any obstacles to overcome? We have the Knight of Swords. Advice from Spirit. Look at this, Libra. Your cards are so in sync. We have the Knight of Coins or the Knight of Pentacles. And the outcome, the King of Wands. Male or female energy with the court cards. Bottom of the deck, we have the Fool. Okay. So your luck will soon change. There is something about decluttering. Focus on that which is only, only of value to you. Uh, something about simplifying. If you're finding yourself things are complicated or there are a lot of plates spinning, this is a big energy of just simplify, focus. Um, we have the five of pentacles here, Libra, which can be about financial loss or changes in your financial circumstances, feeling the pinch, asking for help. I mean, you might be asking for help, loaning money, um, asking family for support, you know, that kind of energy. Sometimes it can be with this card. It's a card of, of feeling lack. Now, it can be a card of, of just watching out for how this five can consume you. You know, when we get the fives, they're generally very consuming, disruptive, roadblock energies. Um, so the idea with this is 
yes, this can be a difficult card to deal with in terms of money and career, but there is a need to get perspective. There is a need to step back. You see, this person is out in the cold. They don't see the church right next to them where they, they could go in and seek shelter, you know? So it is that kind of perspective that's needed with the five of coins um, as much as possible. Um, the the beautiful thing is, Libra, that, you know, we have this wonderful stained glass window of the church and it's a reminder, whatever, you know, spiritual, you know, path you choose, you're being watched over. And that's what you're being told. Even in the darkest times, you're being watched over and guided. So don't let the lack own you. Don't allow yourself to focus on they're being okay and I'm not. You know, it can be a kind of begrudging, something that just makes you feel the lack. Um, misplaced putting your focus and energy to external environments when it's about refocusing on you you know it's that kind of energy so yeah those are the messages that i definitely have there now the sun in the challenge position you know it feels for some of you i mean the sun journey is about positive warm success growth but this is where you're not feeling that growth you're feeling you can be feeling down something is getting you down um, yeah, I mean, the beautiful thing about the sun, it is, it is a card of you will soon let go. You will soon overcome the obstacle. Sometimes you see a brick wall on the card and it's there for a reason. Whatever obstacle you're facing right now, there is a message, the, the illumination, you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. But it might well be you've had a period of feeling really down, something getting you down. Um, and that's what it can feel like sometimes in the challenge position. But even when it appears in the challenge position, there is the potential of growth, um, the potential of coming through the other side of a situation. So again, this message is perspective. See the big picture. Remember, the sun is light. It's clarity. Try to stay clear about what you're focusing on. Because what's going for you is the opportunity is coming. I definitely feel this because I have it confirmed in the, in the cards. So it's, it's a new beginning. So new job, could be new job offer, could be new contracts, new clients, new business. Um, call it what you will, but there is definitely some financial or career opportunity coming your way. A golden opportunity. This is the golden opportunity card and it's coming your way. So I love the energy here, Libra, very much. Um, this is the beginnings of abundance. This has been also a, as a result of what you've been manifesting. Remember, the pentacles energy is about if you put the hard work and effort your energy, not focusing on the negative, not focusing on other people or, you know, what somebody else is doing, but focusing back on you. That's how you change that to this, you know, the door opening. So definitely this is as a result of manifestation, hard work, dedication, practical, you know, using your practical resources and capabilities to bring in this golden opportunity for you. So it feels very beautiful. What's going against you? You're just waiting for the news. It feels like you're waiting for news, feedback, hearing a message, um, waiting for some information. You know, it can be that kind of energy. Remember, you, you've got two nights in your reading and the nights are all about change. So there's definitely an energy in this reading. The change is coming. But, you know, it feels like you're waiting on the news, you're waiting on the information to come through, you're waiting on the change or the shift or the progress to be made in a situation towards this golden opportunity. So it, it feels it feels for some of you, you're just you're just waiting for that feedback or information or shift or progress to happen. So the. The Knight of Coins, this is the advice from Spirit. This is someone will make you an offer. I mean, this is why I'm saying the cards are confirming each other. This is confirming this for me as a reader. So it definitely feels for some of you, the message will come, the news will come, the offer will come. And like I said, can be job offers, business op opportunities, some incoming money coming towards you, um, 
contracts, you know, new business, clients, call it what you will, but the change is coming. I mean, this is someone making you an offer, an opportunity, most definitely. So it's very clear, very concrete in terms of what this night is representing. Now, it's not the fastest of all nights, which is why you might just be thinking, when is it going to happen? When is the shift going to happen? When am I going to get the news? When am I going to hear something? You know, it's that kind of energy. And this is, this can feel a bit like a stagnating energy because the Knight of Coins does move at a snail's pace. But when he comes, when he arrives, he is solid. He is something that is stable, secure. It's the building block that you can build your career on, you can build your business on. You know, it's that kind of energy. So he stays, you know, he stays. And he's not he's not that kind of transient energy. He is very much, I'm here to stay, I'm here to grow, I'm here to be built on. So some kind of solid offer opportunity coming your way. Uh, now, we have the King of Wands here, which is a leader, a charismatic leader. So for some of you, male or female energy again, but you might well be be giving some kind of offer an opportunity by a charismatic, magnetic, go-getting, um, energetic, driven leader, you know? So for some of you, that might resonate. Very confident, very gregarious, um, charismatic, most definitely. That is the King of Wands. A real visionary as well. So for some of you, you might you know, you might be receiving an offer from somebody like that. There could be, this person could be of influence in your life. This Libra could also be you. So the King of Wands is somebody who is in his power. He is a sign of power and success by action. So by taking action, by having the drive, taking the lead, going for what you want, not being defeatist, but just by the sheer force of will pushing through to receiving an offer opportunity. You know, it's that kind of energy that this is you back on your throne, back in your power. So, and what is, what is it doing? Well, it's opening a new beginning, a powerful new chapter, a powerful new beginning, call it what you will, that feels really optimistic. And as the sun promised you in the challenge position, it will allow you to release, let go, overcome what has, you know, feel like, felt like quite a, a solid barrier or a solid obstacle. This is you overcoming it, putting it behind you and not carrying any baggage of the past with you. So the Fool is a card of optimism, anticipation, positive anticipation, ready for the new, ready to take that leap of faith on a new journey. I'm ready, just give me the opportunity, I'm ready. And that's what I feel you're saying. So there's definitely this energy that there is, your luck is about to change. And that's what you're being told. Lovely energy, Libra. Okay, so final message for Libra, please. Final message for Libra. So we have Leaf Cutter Ant, Army of Life. Ask for help, seek support, you are not alone. Yeah, I'm going to pull you one more, Libra. Any other? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, you see, we've got Sloth, Digital Detox, Recalibrate, Reset and Recharge. I feel that's what you're being told to do in this kind of energy, the Five of Pentacles. Okay, regroup and then just kind of like focus again. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.